the daytime, I'm Marinette. Just a normal girl with a normal life. But there's something about me that no one knows yet. Because I've got a secret. you anything. It's a tablecloth for a picnic. Not even close, Zubu. It's a cape. This one's for the superhero of creation. This one's for the supervillain of destruction. Capes for Cat Noir and Ladybug? No, it's for a movie. Oh. You know, those make-believe stories they show on TV? Are you gonna be famous? <laughs> no, I'm the costume designer. I'm not acting in it. But we are gonna be on the news. <gasps> I'm gonna be late! And now, a very original project coming from the Francois Dupont School in Paris. Clara Cantard reporting. Under the initiative of the art teacher Jean-Pierre Molenton, one of Francois Dupont School's alumni, Thomas Astruc, who's become a successful film director, is participating in an ambitious project. He's overseeing this group of students who are volunteering their own vacation time to produce a real-life movie. From script to storyboard, not to mention costumes, everything's being done by the students themselves. With financial support from Paris City Hall. Yes, well, you know, I myself directed a film in my youth and, and the cherry on top is that the film will be released in select movie theaters thanks to famous producer Bob Roth. What a lucky break for these student filmmakers as well as for the two young actresses who will be starring in the main roles. You may hate me, but I love you and I always will. A film with my half of a sister as the star? Ridiculous! Do you want another banana, Chloe? I've heard they help put people in a better mood. What I want is to go tell that bunch of lamos how things work in real life, in my life. You may hate me, but I love you, and I always will. How dare you all giving the lead role to my half of a sister who just came out of nowhere and with daddy's money on top of it all. Uh, it's not actually funded by me, sweetheart, but by the city. Same thing. You. I told you that you'd be sent back to New York if you ever crossed my path, and now not only are you on my path, but on TV too. Don't let your sister walk all over you, Zoe. You were made for this part. You deserve it. It's true, and we're meeting with the producer tomorrow, so it's too late to change anything now. Might I remind you that you were offered the chance, like all the students in the school, to participate in the film. But you refused because, and I quote, Melen's sweater is too ugly, Nate draws like a two-year-old, Alia is useless, and Marinette is ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. I said that? Less politely. Well, I still mean all of it. But if this stupid, childish film actually gets released in theaters and turns someone into a star, that someone should be me. So, you're gonna give me the part my half of a sister is playing because everything she owns is mine. Hm. Banana Chloe? <laughs> Don't worry, kids. I'll go talk to her. Everything will be fine tomorrow. And here's the office of the producer, Bob Roth. Surprise! <gasps> Chloe, what are you doing here? My old friend Andre told me you'd be okay making a few small changes in the scripts so that his daughter could be part of the film. But it's impossible. We've prepped and gotten everything set. Movie making, kid, is the art of compromise. To protect your, I mean, the interest of the film, you gotta be flexible. Therefore, Andre's daughter will play the starring role. That's not in the best interest of the film. Zoe is perfect for the role of the superhero of creation. The next plane for New York leaves in 30 minutes. <sighs> Marinette, no big deal if I don't play the main role. There's lots of other positions open on the crew. Perfect. As long as she's not on screen, it's fine with me. Then it's a deal. See you all tomorrow morning on set. Bye-bye, losers. Now get out. Ah! Uh, this is totally unfair. Believe it or not, I also shot a film in my youth. It was called Solitude. Daddy, I'm trying to concentrate here. Of course. Sorry, sweetheart. And you, Dupin Chang, cool it with the horrible costume. It's worse than Lang. That's why it suits you so well, Chloe. <laughs> In this scene, the entire population has been put into an enchanted sleep, so we need tons of extras. You guys are gonna lay down here. Perfect! Hey! All of you! Someone just told me I'm supposed to play the role of the supervillain of destruction, and Milan is the superhero of creation. Are you kidding me? I get the lead role. I am the good guy, okay? Chloe, those two roles are equally as important. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I get to be the good guy. We don't have time for all of these changes, Chloe. Oh, yeah? Daddy! Uh... <laughs> you know, it's not uncommon to have to adapt a script on the set at the last minute for production reasons. It's called... That's baloney. A waste of time giving up on your dreams. A revision. If it's for the good of the film. C9, take one! Action! Chloe, 
Chloe, you're supposed to be acting. Lame, boring, dull. What we need is a superhero film featuring a real superhero. Hey, what's black and yellow, has pretty blonde hair, gets everyone's attention, and is gonna break the box office. You're not talking about you as Queen Bee, because most of the time you are a super disaster more than a superhero. Uh, actually, I wasn't even thinking of Queen Bee. I was thinking of a much more original character. Queen, uh... Queen Banana! <laughs> Queen what? <laughs> Get it! <laughs> C9, take two! Action! Uh, this is way better than that ridiculous costume Dupen Chang made, but it's still missing something. I know! I need wheels! You don't need a car. These superheroes can fly. What do you know about superheroes, Baker Girl? Just go back to sleep while I... Get <laughs> C9, take three! Action! Ha! We can start now! Except, when she sees you all just lying around doing nothing, Queen Banana doesn't feel like saving you. She feels more like tossing you in the garbage. Chloe, we're not changing everything again. Who said change everything? We just need a bigger and better challenge for Queen Banana. Daddy! <sighs> Thanks, Adrian. It's really gorgeous of you, I mean generous of you, to come help us. Happy to, Marinette. My father said it was for the good of the film. At least he is worth saving. Okay, now can we shoot? Hmm, we need a new bad guy, a super duper uber villain. Ugh. A galactic emperor? A giant octopus that comes from outer space? A fire breathing dragon? No, no, those are so lame. I want a giant yellow gorilla that throws exploding bananas. <sighs> it's for the good of the film. Are you kidding? I a real dynamite slinging gorilla, not some cardboard monkey. But Chloe, giant yellow dynamite slinging apes do not exist. There are tons of giant gorillas doing stuff in all the good movies. Can't you just hire one of those? Ugh, I'm so tired of all of you. I'm getting some beauty rest at the palace. Tomorrow you'd better have this monkey business figured out. Maybe the zoo will lend us an ape if we take extra good care of it. You're not really gonna look for a giant dynamite slinging gorilla. It's for the good of the film, Marinette. It's not for the good of the film. It's not even a film anymore. It's just Chloe's fantasy. The only thing we're gonna do right now is get Adrian out of that cage. Then we're gonna shoot the story that we all thought up together. That's for the good of the film. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Gorilla, where are all the others? Why isn't anyone here to shoot my big scene? They shot everything last night. Right about now, they're probably over at the movie theater screening it. What the? <gasps> Ultimate nightmare! Harmonic wind! Them, Kreatika, humans have destroyed the planet. They don't deserve to be awake. <laughs> You're wrong, Destroika. Each one of those humans carries the hope of a better world within them. You're just like them. I hate you. You may hate me, but I love you, and I always will, even if the whole world hates you, sister. <gasps> <Yeah>! <laughs> Shooting this without me? Where's my monkey? And what is my half of a sister doing in my movie? Miss Dupain Cheng convinced me to watch this first scene. I found it very moving, and Adrian is exceptional in it. I've therefore decided to privately finance the movie based on the original screenplay. Daddy! Like we said before, kid, movie making's all about compromise. Sorry, Chloe. It was for the good of the film. Mm, ridiculous! Utterly ridiculous! But most of all, it's for the good of my plan. Chloe is always an excellent source of inspiration. Blue room. Too soon. Unify. Hey, wait. Adrikins, it's sweet of you to want to console me, but I'm fine. 
I'm going to get my revenge and send Zoe back to New York. Actually, I came to suggest that you apologize to everyone. Are you ill? They ruined my film! It was never your film, Chloe. It belonged to the group. You promised me you would make an effort to stop being mean to everyone, and I warned you that if you didn't, then we can no longer be friends. You're as ridiculous as that film! It's over! You're no longer my Adrikins! You're Adrian nothing! Queen Banana, I am Shadow Moth. Once again, they refuse to recognize your true talent, so I give you the power to show them who the real star of Paris is. Fine, but I want a giant monkey who throws exploding bananas! It's all arranged. I am the director of your dreams, in exchange for your power. Yeah, yeah, I know. Ladybug and Cat Noir is miraculous. You'll have them! your sister Zoe. Stay here, I'm gonna try to find a way out. Queen. So what's your superpower? Making people slip on banana peels? You're about to find out, you ridiculous alley cat! <laughs> Careful! Shadow Moth has been very generous to Chloe. I gotta admit, I'm a little jealous of her gear. Totally unnecessary. Nothing can beat a cat and ladybug duo. Meow! We do make the perfect pair, my lady. Well, we've got gear too. Lucky charm! Scooter, helmets, tube of glue, cartridges, air pipe. Everything needed to fix a flat tire. That's a lot to process. Still, something is missing. But what? Hey, Chloe! Here I am! Of course, Zoe! Ready for a transatlantic voyage on the Banana Express? Only if you promise to stop doing evil in Paris. Of course, I promise I'll be really good. You'll never keep your promise. <laughs> of course not, banana head. Banana boom boom, grab her! which grants you the power to immobilize your opponent. 
You will use it for the greater good. <gasps> At your service, my queen. But Chloe's going to be furious. She used to be Queen Bee. Chloe will never know it's you. Unlike her, you'll keep your identity a secret. And once the job is complete, you will return the Miraculous to me. I can't do it. I'm not strong enough. I... <laughs> I know you can do this. You have only one thing to say, my queen. Pauline, buzz on! Again. Thrilled to make your acquaintance, Vesperia. Just give me a second. <laughs> that Vesperia is to Queen Bee what Formidum Bear is to Roquefort. Sweeter, more refined, and much nicer. <laughs> 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 You counted your bananas before they were peeled, Queen Banana. No, not again! No more evil doing for you, little Akuma. Butterfly. Bye, little feather. Miraculous ladybug! Pound it! I hate you, ladybug! And you, Vesperia! You're only a fake version of Queen Bee! You need to learn to control your anger, Chloe. <laughs> There is a way I could help you if you want. I don't want anything from you! You're non-existent to me! You're lady nothing at all! Mm. Queen Banana's film has turned out to be a flop, but the script will be rewritten very soon. Chloe, your endless supply of anger promises multitudes of chaos. Sooner or later, I'll get my hands on those miraculous. We'd better recharge our Kwamis before Shadow Moth akumatizes her again. Vesperia, the lady. This magical charm could help Chloe escape Shadow Moth's influence, but I can't force her to wear it. I know how to do it. I want to shoot my film! That's enough, hmm? Chloe. It doesn't matter if you try to send me back to New York. I'm done playing the supporting role for the good of our family. Daddy! Uh, 
Zoe is right, Chloe. You can ask me for a new cell phone or to paint the limousine pink, but you can't ask me to hurt your sister. Don't call her that! She's not even half of a sister. She's nothing to me. I... I hate you! You may hate me, but I love you. And I always will, even if the whole world hates you. Sister. <sighs> Remember? We have the same mother. Look, she even gave me this gift. If it comes from mom, then I'm the one who gets to wear it. Give it to me. What's mine is yours. You and I are family. <laughs> it works. That's impossible. What's going on? You just wait. Real life is nothing like your stupid film. I'll get my revenge. <clears throat> Chloe, you okay? Leave me alone, all of you. So we did it. Maybe this will help Chloe become a better person. Let's hope so, Tiki.